Hey, what's up you guys? Super Ray Dizzle here. Welcome back to my channel. And welcome to a brand new video series that I'm starting. In this series, I'll be showing you guys quick tutorials in a quick video. So I'm thinking about calling it Quickies with Ray. Or if not, I don't know. If you have any better ideas, let me know. In this video, I'll be showing you guys the easiest technique for shadows and gradients with a pen. And also how to translate that onto a three-dimensional surface and how to blend two pen colors together using that same technique. Alright, so without further ado, let's begin. The first thing you're going to want to look at is how you're holding that pen. Notice how I'm holding it like I would be writing or drawing? Well, you're going to want to choke up on that pen. Ironically, to have more control, you want to have less control. So this will be really helpful in a second when you create your feathery strokes. And if you are light-handed, you are more than welcome to skip this tip. Uh, this is mainly for people who are like me. Hashtag heavy-handed. So now we can start building up the shadows and start getting on it. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is start off very, very light. And I know if you've been on my channel before, you've heard this before, and that is you gotta build up your shadows. That way it can be like a nice transition of the shades rather than just straight black right next to a light gray. It can give it a more realistic look. And this will help with any pen mistakes because you'll catch it early on. And it won't matter because it'll be so light on the page, no one will know. Just a secret between you and the paper. You guys got the idea. I'm going to time lapse this. That way you guys can see firsthand what it's like from start to finish when it comes to building a gradient. So I will see you in a second. Alright, cool. Now we have the finished gradient, and it's just a series of pen marks that start off very dark and go off to light. And just throwing this out here, I'll have a part two on pen realism here in a bit, so this is kind of like the precursor to that. Alright, cool. So now that we got the shadows going, I'm going to show you guys how to translate that onto a three-dimensional surface in your drawing. In this case, that three-dimensional drawing will be a sphere. And if you guys saw my bubble drawing video, you guys know I am just horrible when it comes to drawing circles. So hopefully this water bottle will help me. Or not. That's cool too. So for this, notice I'm going super, super light with the shadows. And again, you know, just building it up, trying to avoid the uh, highlight at all cost. Because again, you can't, unfortunately, erase pen. I mean, they have those erasable pens, but I don't, I don't know if I trust those things. So notice that my strokes aren't just straight anymore, they're actually following the contours of the ball. When it comes to pen work or line work or anything like that, you're going to want to start bending the lines to go with the object. You know, just go with the flow. This will give it a lot of texture and it'll make it look more realistic. So for my last trick, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you guys how to blend two pencils colors together. Did I just say pencil? I meant pen. Now when it comes to mixing two pens in together, it's a little bit more tricky because you don't have just one gradient, you have two. But I believe in you and you can do the thing. So once you've determined where you want your two colors, you're going to want to start building up from their darkest points. And like you normally would, you're going to start building up that gradient from both sides. But alas, there is a catch. More pens equal more pen marks, more pen marks equal darker shadow. So basically you'll end up with a dark mixture of the two colors as opposed to a nice transition from one color to the other. So be careful of that. And of course, with that being said, here are the final color corrected images. I hope you guys learned a little something something from this video, especially if you are a beginner. Let your girl know if you like these videos and if you want to see more little videos like this. And with that being said, I love you guys so much and I will see you next video.